depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. <laughs> Alright, so I just got to North Windham. Let's see what the hell we got. I'm going right there. I'll bring you right back to you. What up? So Look what we that. got? Uh, the unit that she just finished wrapping. What the hell is this? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what she said. This is like a last minute thing, bro. Last yeah, I know. I heard. Dudes and deliveries had like weeks to pick this and they ain't pick it. Seems legit. And then you got that bunk right over there. This one? Yeah, and then you got that bunk inside. And then you got this pallet right here. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> ah, it's too good. Uh, yeah, right. I need to start doing drugs doing no. this. No. Walking around like freaking Wally. Yeah. Wally with a little camera. Yeah. To record the sketches you guys try to give me. All right, if you want to put like one more band on that bottom bunk in the middle and then another band to hold that top bunk to the bottom bunk, yes, that's cool. Yes, yeah, all right, now show me what other stuff you got. Oh, and um, uh, whoever is in charge of this site right now wants, uh, market manager wants you guys to give them a call. Whoever's the MOD? The MOD, he's an ASM. Okay. I'm a one day in. Uh, yeah. the market manager wants you to uh, shoot him a call. Okay. Uh, his name is. We just gotta take a quick picture of all this material. Seems legit. All right, show me what else we got. We got another bunk of lumber inside. And then I already brought it out. So it's that one, this one, that one, and then we're gonna run some bands over that pallet. Uh, can you guys make sure that the kickers are attached to these bunks? So I'm not putting my life in. Yeah, gee, we gotta attach the stickers to them too. And what do you what do you gotta do with this? Just throw. Gonna have she run some bands over it. There's other stuff on here too that I'm not gonna send out with you because I know you're not gonna take it. So, well, just maybe throw some tape on it so it doesn't unwrap. Yep. Uh, that. You're also supposed to be taking the pub, you're supposed to be taking the doors, but I'm not gonna try to put those on a flatbed. I mean, if it was ready, I could take it, but I'm not gonna wait. Yeah, it's not even close to ready. Yep. Right. So. We gotta do tape and bands on the pallet. And uh, whose concrete is that? Uh, it's not, I have no idea, but you're not taking it. So. Yeah, maybe not today, but just to give you a fair warning for a future date, I would I would reject that. Okay. So. What's the best phone number? For this guy. All right, uh, let me find it. One second. Got that? Come on, press your video. Oh, you're so strong. You're so strong, Michael. Yeah, you're great. Let's go. You know, some cooperation around here would be nice. Oh man. Yeah. Well, you ain't got much of a choice. That's what she said. Go ahead. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Go ahead. There you go. Uh, you came in crooked. You got to use your good eye, Chi. Well, lift up. Tilt back, lift up. Good. Tilt back. I lift up. Side shift left. There you go. Yeah. Now you're using your brain. 
Show me. Why? So you can show me your chi-ish ways? <laughs> <laughs> uh, your your video on YouTube already got like a, a thousand hits. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying. To... You put a video on me, yeah, of course I did. You did? Yeah. I told you this was going on YouTube. You're gonna be YouTube famous. I told you that. Love when I, when I started when I started getting money when I started getting uh, money from it, I make sure I hook you up. Uh, where am I gonna put this? What video can you put up? Uh, the one you said when we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is this at? On YouTube, I told you that. Why is somebody oh. calling me? Man. Oh my god. I was like, man, they're... uh, we might have to run because these bands are really tight. We might have to put a couple new ones. Got to clean out all the shit you guys leave me from the day before. Exactly. Yeah, dude, your video went viral, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's talking about. Did you say something? He said something, but I don't know what he said. Yeah. 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 That's why you've been standing around this whole time. Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? I picked all this in an hour. All that. <laughs> he said that's the only thing you did in the last couple of days. What you did? Look at me the last couple of days. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just put it up there. Well, yeah, put it passenger. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. I hope he drops it. <clears throat> Hey, old man, you got some uh, broken pieces of foam board insulation I could have? Huh? Any here? I don't know. I don't see any. I was just wondering maybe in the aisle or something. Or some cardboard or something. How big of a piece? Uh, probably about four feet. By just like a sticker? Uh, no, nah, like four feet by like four feet. Like pretty you one tomorrow, that works. Uh, I kind of needed one today. Oh, uh, it doesn't have to be thick at all. I just needed to to get some padding. I'll strap it down to the deck. I got a heartburn like a mother. So you guys just missed all of that but that was some pretty funny she like banged into that he banged into that lumber there started making mad noise and then i started making mad noise he's like come on man you make too much noise da -da -da. i'm like all right yeah i said so this make for good youtube content makes for really good youtube content it's clickbait bro i was like yo you can be a youtube star i said your video with you talked or is gonna go viral dude She's like, no, it didn't. I was like, nah, it didn't, but it'll get there one day. One day. So yeah, uh I just got this this free foam board from the store. I'm in uh I need that for later on when I'm done with these deliveries. So let me put these right here. So yeah, I'm gonna go like full speed with you know strapping everything down. I just hate having extra shit in my pockets and and in my kangaroo pouch in the front of my hoodie it just like slows down so yeah we're gonna get this cracking guys but I, if i don't say much forgive me i'm just trying to get this done and over with i gotta go to the shop already <clears throat> Yeah, these uh, winches definitely need some PB blaster on them. Maybe I'll do it later. It's warming up today. It's gonna be in the 60s today. Sorry, pretty nice out here.
<laughs> I'm about to put three straps on these 16s here because these are double stacked. But yeah, you guys saw that damn that they try to give me at the store. It's nuts. But this is what we deal with springtime. Springtime, people be shorthanded. Nobody knows. Turnover rates are high at the store. So I could train one guy this week. And next week, you know, I got a whole different guy I got to show the ropes to. And, uh, I'm not opposed to fire, getting someone fired for trying to give me some unsafe sh you know? Or if the, the stuff falls apart while it's on my truck. You know, because it's not our job to tell them how to do their job, you know? It's their job to prep the material, make it safe, and get it on my truck. That's it. My job is just to pull up, get loaded, and haul. Just mm. um, put an edge protector up there. <clears throat> but yeah, when you're strapped on like a single sheet of like insulation like this, you always want to have the straps closest to the edge so that when the wind hits it doesn't have a chance to try to take it away, you know? And a uh, gentleman at the store gave me this, the old guy gave me this piece of foam board for a project. Uh, I'm gonna end up picking up the Subaru, putting it on top of the trailer. I mean, I paid to rent the trailer, so why not, right? And I got those forklift extensions so I can, uh safely do so i'm gonna use this to go up against the back of that so my subaru doesn't bump into it like when i go to tilt back so yeah, when i go to tilt back on the forks and stuff the subaru isn't rubbing paint and you know stuff like that Man, I think I want some Chinese food today. I gotta loosen this strap because this is the one with the uh, edge protector that needs the edge protector on the other side. Yeah, the spring and summertime, guys, I very, I very rarely use gloves or maybe not gloves this thick because, for one, these gloves are made to keep your hands warm. That's number one. And then number two, gloves, you know, they they dampen the feeling on your fingers so it's you know it's it's easier and it's faster if you were to do it just by hand and then you know maybe keep a wet wipe or something like that inside the truck or don't you know whatever <clears throat> so yeah i did the double wrap on this one i did the you know half thing on that one it's only going like 25 minutes away but i did the double wrap on this one because of that that uh placard thing is there And uh, I should have put edge protectors on this side, but you know what? I own it, right? It's mine. So let's do this. Let's get the cranking and then get the spanking. I'm probably going to end up cutting like half of that thrown it away anyway so whatever yeah i looked at the the delivery site via google satellite for this and it looks like it creeps off into the woods and if that's the case i do what i can it's too sketchy i leave this right curbside so
Yeah, so I keep about 15 straps and winches on my trailer at all times. I was talking to my market manager earlier and I told him, I was like, you know, other drivers, I've seen them with, you know, eight or nine winches and straps. And I'm like, you think that guy is really securing his load like as best as he should be? Like I've had loads, you know, slide to the other side of the trailer. I remember I went up a, like a hill and a curve that was so steep that I had uh, plywood like almost in the middle of my trailer with two straps on it and they were tight but once i hit the curve and started going uphill it was so steep that the that the plywood slid it was only being held on by one one of these straps here so i ended up restrapping it putting like four straps on it and then cranking the shot of it i know nope, it falls off my trailer where it lays is where it stays right it is what it is so yeah i'm gonna put this uh back up on the charger i hope it's recording like the other day i was recording the video where i got stuck out i wouldn't even say stuck i was just like by the water and stuff and the whole uh part of me getting out of there i don't know what happened to the footage i guess it just never recorded so i'm hoping that this is gonna record so uh yeah we'll see see how it goes start backing up these videos and uh get them on my external hard drive when I buy one so yeah guys I'll see you guys at the delivery <laughs>